Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I have been taking part in a, a blog hop with the Putlers team. Um, the Putlers team is led by Sam Hammond Donald and the blog hop today we were showcasing Sam's lovely stamp set that she designed as part of her celebrations for a one million dollar sales with Stampin' Up! which is pretty fantastic feat um, and part of the celebration when you reach that is you um, get involved in designing a stamp set. So yeah, we're so excited that it's now in a catalogue. I think it's been quite a while since she first achieved that. She's moved on quite a bit. She'll soon be heading for one and a half million, I'm sure. Um, but because of COVID, everything was delayed. But it's in the, the, stamp, the stamp set is Sentimental Swirls and it's in the new mini catalogue, the January to June 2022 catalogue. In fact, Jan yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I'm leathering now. So... My, my project for the blog hop, I actually used three blues. I used Bammy Blue, Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. This time I'm going to use these um, in colours that are actually going to retire at the end of April. So I thought it would be good to, to spend a bit more time playing with this set of colours and also to remind you all that they will be retiring so if you haven't collected them all then you know now's a good time because when it gets towards the end of the annual catalogue they will disappear like snow off a dike as we say in Scotland they, they will sell out fairly quickly at the end of the catalogue so grab yours now and not so that you've got them anyway so we'll play with them and we'll do a colourful one this time. So what this is, is, uh, you saw me take the ribbon off, this is a letter card. So I masked off this area, it's half a sheet of A4, I masked off this area, stamped around it on that side so that I can write my letter. And, and so you'll see when it folds up, this bit folds in that says hello. And then that bit comes down and it says for you. So when you receive it, it says for you. You open it up, and you've got hello, and then whatever letter I write in there. But on this side, equally, and I need to be careful, yeah, make sure that I get the words correct in the direction I want them and do my scores in the playbook. But it was just freehand stamping here. So what I do on the other side, I won't exactly copy that pattern, I'll just do more free stamping and <laughs> see what happens. So yeah, let's let's stamp. So this time it different colours, but just to show you the construction and how I put it all together. All right, so I'll pop this out of the way just now. And the denim ribbon again, this is in the mini catalogue, the June to, no, the January to June mini catalogue. So yeah, that's in there. We have had this denim ribbon before, so it's lovely to see it make a come back. So yeah, that's that. So I've got my stamp set. So I've got the big swirl already on a block ready to go. Just make sure it's stuck down and we'll just see where we go with this, okay? So first thing I have to do is cut my A4 in half. So I decided to do this from scratch and not be too prepped for it. So our UK A4 here is half of that is 14.85 centimetres so or 14.8 and a wee bit. So I cut it in half and this is what I need. So you can get two of these letter cards from one sheet. And because they are just half a sheet of A4, they will st they will still sit fit in an A6 envelope. So you don't you can make a mini envelope if you want, but you don't have to. That should that will still fit in your mini in your normal A6 envelope or C6 envelope, as we call that. So the first first thing I did was I took an. A 
it's not E7, E6 this is. Um, Post-it, sticky note, it's not Post-it, but because that's a brand name, but a sticky note. I just happen to have these ones that are quite so... I'm kind of just, I'm not going to measure, you could measure it all out and get straight lines and this is me, so we just kind of eyeball it. Just so that it looks kind of even on both sides and then top and bottom. And that's that. So then I am going to use the swirl and I'm just going to stamp here. I think I will use the Misty Moonlight for the swirls and then I'll use the other colours for leaves and flowers and birds and whatever else I decide. And Misty Moonlight. I've enjoyed Misty Moonlight, although Night of Navy is my favourite. Um, Misty Moonlight has been quite a favoured colour, I think. Um, and I'm just, as I say, I'm just oh, dropping. Again, I'm going to randomly pop these around. And it's just decorating the area that I'm going to write when I write my letter. And just turn it around, move the paper, obviously make it easier for myself. Just think it's quite nice, it's not going to have to be such a very, you know, entailed letter, but there's enough space there to write a nice chatty letter. And I'm turning this round a few times just to Basically that's the inside, it's just a pattern really, again, so there we go, we've got a clear area for writing and that is that part for there, so we'll turn it over and we'll make, we'll kind of give a structure of the swirls, I do like the swirls and then you know you can add the flowers and leaves and I didn't have, I just had flowers and leaves in this one so I don't know where I'm going to go with this but I'm just going to decorate this. What I should do for actually is do the the wording first. Let's just get, there's some really nice sentiments in here. So the hello was at the top and the for you was at the bottom. So let's stick with that. We'll pop them in and then I know that I can just stamp all around and it won't matter what direction. So let's, I'm going to pull out Just Jade because I have a plan to use this beautiful Just Jade gingham ribbon. So I want a decent amount of Just Jade in there so that the ribbon will pick out the colour as well. Now let's ink up the hello. for you down here. No, oh, it's a bit squint, but that's all right. Did I say squint or at an arty angle? We'll just say it's at an arty angle. So yeah, that's it. So it's been so exciting and it was to be able to take part in this blog hop and showcase Sam's stamp set. Um, yeah. I think, I think it's an amazing stamp set. I think it's great for beginners and experienced crafters alike. There's so many little elements on it. And just, you can't, you can't really go wrong with it. 
So I don't know what I'm going to do here, but we'll just see, right. I've got that up kind of near there. Sometimes when it's a bigger, the bigger block, I actually find I get on better by taking the stamp pad to the block. I was talking about free stamping, but I'm not. You can see already I've got a structure here. <laughs> yep. Random stamping isn't always random. That's okay because I'm, you know, all the great patterns are done with this sort of idea. So I think we'll just have this one down here, sort of at the same angle. You just see a wee bit of this. Coming on, and I don't think we'll add, we'll not bother with that little bit, we'll just add some swirls. We'll take that one off, for, we'll just put that over for the cleaning, right? So, what next? What it, we need to get all these colors in here, I think. So, my oh, really favorite um, stamp here is this larger flower. Now, if you don't have, if you're not actually, you'll if you go on to jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk and look at today's blog, it is a hop, and you'll see all the other projects that were, that were taking part in that. Well, this is Saturday, the fifth of February. I may not put this video out till tomorrow. I'm not sure. It depends how long it takes to upload. But if you go to the fifth of February's blog. Oh, on jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk you'll see the whole all the, all the links to all the projects that took part so um yeah so do 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 right. i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm actually going to stick with Misty Moonlight to start off with for my outlines and then colour them in. Where else will we have? One in there, one in there. We might come back to it and then we'll have another one about here, I think. And we can pop one in this corner just because we can. And then what I like to do, yeah, I'll close this up and then I'll tell you because I know I'm going to get, I'm going to bring in this amazing pink magenta madness it's just fab love it right where did i put just jade here it is i don't want to lose it i keep moving things right okay so magenta madness an amazing pink now i might have to move this about so i can get my head over but i'll show you in the first flower okay so we use this stamp to fill in the colour but then I twist it and it makes it look like a bigger flower makes it look it's got like it's got eight petals well I'm loving it with these colours I haven't tried it with the colours before let's just turn it around so again Stamp on, stamp off, well not off, but second generation, isn't that pretty? 
I know self praise is no praise, but I like what I'm doing. <laughs> Now there will be another demonstrator will have done this already but I haven't noticed any projects where they've done this with this flower yet. I'm not trying to claim I'm some kind of original thinker because I'm not. I'm loving that. And the great thing about these stamps is that we have a punch that fits that flower. For the love of me, I can't remember the name of it, but it, you know, just give me a shout and I'll tell you. And there's a smaller flower which we can punch out with the strawberry, the sweet strawberry. That's just, see, j j I would like to just leave it at that, but I'm not. I'm going to just over complicate it but hey that's okay right so we'll close up the magenta madness and these colors are not featured in it and you know i don't know we might cinnamon cider might not make the cut but um what am i going to do next see if this was alive then you could tell me what i'm going to do next Um, shall I have more flowers or shall I have a bird? It's just such an exciting little stamp set. It's just, yeah. I'm going to use the tidy flower first. That's that one and that one. And I'll just take these, pop them over in the washing, go over to the wash tub. Right, and again, I'm going to stamp them with the misty moonlight. Sure, where else will I put another one? Um, let's put one here. They're not particularly attached to anything, it doesn't really matter. It's just I'm just stamping and enjoying it. I'll do these flowers, and then I think we'll pop some leaves in and around it. So again you line up to do the petals one and then twist There's just one of these projects where you could just lose yourself in the stamping and you can just choose whatever colours you want to work with. I think there are no limits. What are you thinking? Are you liking this? Do let me know after the video whether you like the all the one that's all shades of blue that I did for the blog hop or whether you like this colourful one best. Oh 
hey I'm liking this okay so let's see what I'm going to choose for my leaf I think this little wee sprig here I mean that that could be a leaf it could even be a flower bud you decide and there's extra swirls here that you can add on and I think you'll see in the first one I did do a bit of connecting through the swirls as if they're tendrils maybe better with the larger of the leaves shapes that one I know you keep jumping at me bird I think you want to be part of this don't you right we'll see how we go with this first I'll not be happy to have cut every single stamp out of there okay so let's pop some leaves on in and around I'm thinking maybe There is no random, is there? <laughs> I can't help myself. I have to. I absolutely have to start forming patterns. <laughs> and I've just decided I'm probably not capable of total random. Okay, let's get the just jade out and just just go with it. Just like just stamp the way you feel. I think I'm I need a pink one in there. I maybe need to go back. But no, I think I'll do something different there. Break the pattern. Haha. <laughs> okay, so just jade just filling in the leaves. I may speed it up some of this, but I don't know. Probably not, because editing's not my bag. There we go, some leaves. I think I'm just going to bring in a bird. Do you think? We need a bird, don't we? Yes, we do. And a bit for the body for the bird. Close these colours up before we have an accident. So it's just a simple stamping. Whoops, ribbon coming out. It is simple stamping. It's just playing with colour stamping. Right, so I'll take these off. I'm just going to pop the bird in there. And then one can sit there. Where will this one go? Certainly that one can sit on there. one on here 
And that will be enough birds, I think. A scratchy arm. <laughs> so, what, who have we not got in here? We haven't got any cinnamon cider, so we can have a cinnamon cider bird. Why not? And then all five colours will be included then. And I wouldn't have left any out. You have to turn it to just try and line it up. That one is a bit extra there just to kind of take the white. It won't be so noticeable because I was a bit off. It's probably better if you get your head right over. I really think I've done enough stamping now. <laughs> There we go. Everybody's coloured in. We've incorporated all five colours. And um, yeah, so let's stop before we go too far. So I'll just show you how I scored this and put some ribbon on and we're done. So I'll just get my scoreboard out and make sure I remember, because I'm doing this from memory now. So I scored this at eight centimeters and then again at 16 now 16 is not always easy to see on there it is right there but if you think that's 21 centimeters always if you can't see the 16 you can think out of the box because this is 21 centimeters so it's 8 8 and 5 so if you're struggling to see because some trimmers are different but I can see the 16 just but if you're struggling with that as I know a couple of people have said they are turn it around and score it five and that will still work so sometimes you just have to think so there that's going to oops fold and burnish that on the five there so that's come that's on the inside and then fold this one over and there you go and then we just need a bit of ribbon to tie it off I've not made this a particularly short video I just thought it was quite nice to be a bit more relaxed not rush at it and I hope you enjoyed watching the process I just finish tie. I think I just tied a knot in the other one. Do I have enough? Have I left myself enough to tie a bow? I don't know. No, we'll just tie a knot. And I'll just trim that end. Hardly use this ribbon, so I need to get using it before it retires. There we go. I'm fairly confident it will retire at the end of May. No, at the end of April even, because the new annual starts at the beginning of May. So there we go. So let's pop this one together now. And now you can let me know which one you like best. Do you like all the blues or all the in colours? Okay, so you let me know which one you like best. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please press the bell icon so that you get notified when I'm coming on again. And please go to jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk and see all the other people that took part in the black the blog hop <laughs> on sentimental swirls so there we go it's superb stamp set absolutely superb thank you so much sam for designing this because i'm having so much fun with it so thanks everyone bye bye